Hi, I'm Blackout and today we're looking at Watch Dogs 2, a game released in 2016, set in digital San Francisco, featuring a multifaceted gameplay sandbox and, unfortunately, unwanted strobe effects, at least on PC with the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 30 series and also the current 40 series graphics cards. Let's take a closer look. I use an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090, currently the most powerful consumer graphics card on the market. The latest driver is installed and yet I still encounter these flickering issues. NVIDIA became aware of the flickering issue and addressed it in the release notes of various drivers. There it was listed as an unsolved problem that the sky can flicker with the RTX 4090 in Watch Dogs 2. In my experience, however, not only the sky is affected, this also matches the experience of several users who also write that not only the RTX 4090 but also other Nvidia graphic cards are affected. However, work on finding a solution was finally discontinued by Nvidia as there was apparently no support from the developers. This means there will be no new driver in the foreseeable future that addresses this flickering problem. Therefore I contacted Ubisoft, the developer and publisher of the game and indeed, the German customer support writes that they cannot offer a solution as they are no longer actively working on the game. There's still hope though, because of an unofficial workaround, Ubisoft refers here to a solution from a public forum with the keyword DXVK. But what exactly is DXVK? DXVK stands for DirectX over Vulkan and is an open source tool that translates direct 3D commands into the Vulkan graphics interface. In short, it is used to improve the compatibility and performance of video games. And this is where the community found out that the DXVK files actually help to fix the flickering issue in Watch Dogs 2. However, there's a catch. Although Watch Dogs 2 is primarily a single-player game, it does have smaller multiplayer elements such as co-op missions or PvP modes, including the popular Hacker Invasion. In order to use the XVK, the anti-cheat program must be deactivated. And without the anti-cheat program, we can no longer access the game's multiplayer. In my opinion, however, it is a small price to pay to eliminate the constant flickering. If you do some research on this workaround, you'll find that it doesn't work for all players. I followed the steps of the workaround precisely and the game still wouldn't start, so I tried to find the error. I ruled out DXVK as the cause of the error because it works for other players. So I checked various background processes, uninstalled programs and so on. But one constant always remained the same. And here we come to the small but fine detail. I purchased and downloaded the game via Ubisoft's gaming launcher, Ubisoft Connect. To check my assumption, I bought the game again from Steam, tried the workaround and finally the game starts without any issues. So why does the workaround work for some players but not for others? This is due to the particular gaming launcher through which you purchase the game. Currently the workaround does not work via every gaming launcher and, in my experience, only via Steam. The Epic Games launcher might still be an option, but I can't say anything about it right now. Ok, and how do you use the DXVK workaround? First you need to download the DXVK file. I use version 2.2, but I also tested a new version 2.3 in this video and it works in exactly the same way. I haven't noticed any differences. Once you have downloaded the file, you need to unzip it. There are various unpacking programs for this task. Now open Steam and search for the installation files here. Select the bin folder in the watchdogs folder. Then copy the files d3d11.dll and dxgi. Point .dll into this folder. Please make sure that you use the correct files. There are files for 32-bit and also for 64-bit systems. In my case, I have chosen a 64-bit version as I have a 64-bit system. If you are unsure which system you have, just look in the search bar for system information and here for the system type. Now we need to deactivate Easy Anti-Cheat. To do this, select the application file in the bin folder, right-click on it and select Create Shortcut. You can now move this shortcut to your desktop. 
Now right click on a shortcut, select properties and then target under the shortcut tab. Here you add a space after what is already in the field and then minus EAC underline launcher. This will deactivate easy anti-cheat and the game is able to start. Click on apply and ok. From now on you can start the game via this shortcut. Please note that starting the game from Steam will not work as the anti-cheat program is not deactivated here. So just use the shortcut. When you start the game, the Ubisoft Connect launcher opens in the background. Don't be surprised, it is only here to check that you have purchased the game and it synchronizes your game saves in the cloud. The game claims that we have an old driver version installed. This is not true, at least in my case, and can simply be ignored. The message that Easy Anti-Cheat is not installed can also be clicked away. And now you can finally enjoy the game as it should be, without any flickering. Further information and links can be found in the video description. See you next time, have fun!